Hey guys, so our project was based on Emma Lazarus, as I'm sure you guys already know. So we're going to start with a little bit of biography about her and her life. So she was born in 1849 to Moses Lazarus and Esther Nathan. And she's an American author of poetry, prose, and translations, as well as an activist for Jewish causes. She wrote over 50 poems, as well as a novel, but her most known writing is called The New Colossus, which is featured on the Statue of Liberty in New York City. So before I get into the scholarly article, I'm going to talk a little bit about the background of The New Colossus. So the writing was inspired by the Statue of Liberty and was created for the sole purpose to be used on the pedestal of the Statue of Liberty. So the statue is referred to as a woman who accepts all people and will let anyone live there if they need a home. And this kind of refers to the United States and their impact on how they said they would accept everyone during that time and they would let anyone in. They eventually, in the poem, title the, the Statue of Liberty the Mother of Exiles, which really just influenced the fact that it's someone who will accept all people and n no judgment will be there. So the f source I focused on is called Who is the Mother of Exiles? And this source mainly focuses on the New Colossus and the way she incorporates her background in her writing. A lot of her writing is impacted by her Jewish American background, especially the writing 1492. And 1492 was an important year that she wanted to focus on for two main reasons. The first reason being it was the year of exploration for America, and then as well as for the Jewish people, they were kicked out of Spain in 1492 and sent to America with the promise that they would be included. And then the source describes the full events of what happened in 1492 to the Jewish people and how important that was to her. So although in her writing of the New Colossus, she talks really positively about the United States, we find out that just a few years prior, she actually was telling France to keep what they were building for themselves because, the, because of America was not worthy for it. And there's a lot of opinions about why she wrote that for the United States. A main one being that she was, they think she was paid extra to make a positive and uplifting statement about the United States and including a negative one about France and Europe. So the main reason we see this is she begins her entire poem with the New Colossus by comparing the Statue of Liberty to an ancient Greek statue saying that Europe is inferior to America. So I'm going to go ahead and hand it over to Carly to finish this up. Thanks, guys.